Hello, good morning, and welcome to Business on News Desk. Now, some economists say President Mahama cannot be given the pass mark on the economy under his Institute of the Statistical, Social, and Economic Research. He says President Mahama could have done better. I think that compared to 2012, of course, uh, things are a little better than 2012. And the performance, uh, largely for me, has been mixed. Uh, the president seems to have done quite well with regard to uh, physic, I mean, fiscal consolidation that is closing the gap uh, compared to the 12 percent that ordered in 20. I think we are going to see quite some items and some finances which were not on our budget, and that is something that we need to deal with, and that is what is going to uh, result in this budget deficits and high deficits mm -hmm. that we experience. Uh, uh, Prof, I know you've seen a lot of successive governments when it comes to the economy and they're going and coming, but it's always been a problem. A new administration comes in and there's a whole debate about what you left and what I'm taking over and even there have been instances about the coffers being empty and all those things. Uh, do you think that the president should use this presentation to address that problem once and for all? I think um, to, to change from what has been done every four years, I think the government should tell us the real issue. I think we need to avoid a case where the new government comes in and the first quarter start revealing a lot of, 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 of things that this were not done, this were not. I think the outgoing president should be very, very candid with us and, and tell us. Well, I so sincere apology for the wrong insert at the beginning. Dr. Eric Ossesib said president, the president failed in the critical areas of the economy. I, I think that compared to 2012, of course, uh, things are a little better than 2012. And the performance uh, largely for me has been mixed. Uh, the president seems to have done quite well with regard to uh, physic, I mean, fiscal consolidation that is closing the gap uh, compared to the 12 percent that recorded in 2012 until now is still quite uh, is I don't know the current state now but as of last time was 6.9 percent uh, so that is significantly lower than what was recorded in 2012 so on that score the president seemed to have done well but in regard to growth Growth has been abysmal. I mean, the performance is way off. I mean, one of the poorest performers that we have seen over two, three decades now. And so he hasn't done so well. So there are other issues. You know, inflation appears to be going down, but it's still very high. Interest rate today, though inflation is coming down about 15.5%. Monetary policy rate is one of the highest in West Africa, about 25.5%. Lending rate is still about 35%, way higher than what was recorded even in 2012, all right? So the performance largely has been mixed, and I think that it is not something that we can say that the president is living a resilient economy. Mm -hmm. The economy is still under challenged, although they are, it appears to be recovering, but we are not there yet. Away from that, some players within the private sector continue to pour out their expectations of, inc of the incoming administration. The building and construction industry is one important area stakeholders expect much, much attention to mitigate the increasing infrastructural deficit. The Public Affairs Chairman of the Ghana Institution of Surveyors, Humphrey Amegadu, a comment on this. We, we are all expecting the new government to properly constitute itself and I, I, if that is done, we expect some good standard in, for everything. Therefore, the bill, the survey council bill or the law becomes the number one item we expect to be passed in the uh, you know, fastest possible time. Uh, that being done, well, a, a minister that sees our sector should be somebody who is competent and um, understand the issues of our sector and will be on top of the job. And that, uh, that being the case, yes. And then the private sector in general, because most of us are private sector workers, and we expect the government to I, I mean, speak of your expectations of uh, the uh, minister, are there any specific names the institute has in mind? No, <laughs> we will not go that far. Um, but we, we, 
we expect somebody who understands issues about land, construction, property, real estate, and all the issues. You know, the real estate um, sector is pushing for removal of VAT on the sales of building and all that. And those are all issues that the government must be expect the government to deal with because it makes prices of buildings, uh, real estate buildings, um, high, and therefore the sales are not coming as the, the, um, the real estate sector is expecting. So some of those issues we expect government to handle as quickly as possible. And that's it for business. Thanks for your attention. My name is Imano Abuachi. We are free.